what's going on everyone, Matthew from the TheRightTrader.com back again with another cryptocurrency video. Today we're going to be talking about altcoins and I'm going to explain why I think we could see a very big altcoin season in the next few months. Now, as you may have seen, there's a lot of things going on with crypto. Bitcoin obviously pushing that $10,000 level. If you've seen it past uh, videos, I have talked about the fact that I do think we're going to pull back and I'll talk about that very briefly in this video, but as, as Bitcoin failed to move uh, significantly above $10,500, we're looking to stay in the symmetrical triangle pattern, and I believe this will uh, ripple across the cryptocurrency market, and we're basically going to see a correction uh, across the board, which is not a bad thing, right? And it, it will be a controlled correction where we'll be within the symmetrical triangle pattern. I don't think it's uh, too big of a drop or anything like that. But for Bitcoin, the target level is 6,500 before either moving higher or lower. I expect it to move higher. And you'll see uh, with some of these altcoins, they do have uh, sometimes a very similar pattern, sometimes a bit different. But I'll be reviewing the altcoin charts in just a second. Going back to uh, the market overview here, what I wanted to explain is the fact that a lot of altcoins specifically, right, uh, from the bigger ones like Ethereum, uh, Cardano and Tezos to the smaller ones, they've seen some very big moves in the last few weeks. And I believe that even if we might see a correction here uh, in the shorter term, the medium to long term is extremely bullish for altcoins. Uh, the current market dominance is 64.5% Bitcoin and 9.74% uh, Ethereum. So, you know, there's still a lot of room for altcoins to grow. And if we take a look at the, the chart here, what you're going to see is that we have widened up the range uh, between altcoins and Bitcoin. But I believe that we're going to see a, a convergence back to uh, these two levels coming closer together, kind of similar to what we had back here. So uh, that's kind of where I see things heading. And as for the market cap of the cryptocurrency uh, market as a whole, we could be seeing a breakout here, actually. So even if we get a smaller pullback, you know, that's that's within that symmetrical triangle pattern that we saw with Bitcoin. But really, it's just a matter of time here before we break out higher and we could revisit uh, some new all-time highs for the uh, overall cryptocurrency market cap. And that's a pretty big deal, right? I mean, so much more money can flow into altcoins. One thing that I find amazing as well, if you take a look at the actual valuations of a lot of these altcoins, is just how cheap they are. You have to remember that uh, we did see a huge cryptocurrency spike back in 2017, right? Let's take a look at Ethereum, for example. And what you're going to notice is the fact that we are literally, in a way, able to get in on a lot of these altcoins at the same or very similar price levels as before that 2017 crypto run-up, which if you ask me is absolutely amazing. I mean, think about it. The all-time high was around $1,400 for Ethereum, and currently we're right below $250. So we've got a, a five times increase right there. And if you look at, you know, where we were before that, right, it, it allows you to literally get in on the prices that you would have gone if you invested in Ethereum back at the beginning of the run-up, which is an absolute golden opportunity in my opinion. And this is a pattern that you can see across the board for many altcoins out there, right? I mean, Cardano is a great example. Um, I've made a price prediction on Cardano. Make sure to check it out. It was one of my latest videos. But you'll see that some of them have been hit, hit harder than others, right? All, um, Cardano has been pretty much flat after a huge downtrend for basically a full year. And just now we're seeing things pick back up, right? The volume is coming back in. Uh, we just now, you know, kind of made it more towards that 10 cent level. We might be pulling back a little bit here. I personally am going to be loading up on even Bitcoin, but a lot of these altcoins, right? There's some really nice opportunities. I think what I'm seeing, a lot of other people are seeing, which is the fact that, yes, Bitcoin is a great cryptocurrency. There's a, you know, the bigger cryptocurrencies are doing just fine. I have no doubt that they'll succeed in the future, but there's so much uh, untapped opportunity, especially with the current valuation levels in the altcoin market, that it can provide some uh, bigger returns than you might be able to get with something like Bitcoin. Um, so for Cardano here, for example, right, we're below 10 cents. If we get back to the all-time highs, we'll be at a dollar plus. 
that's a 1,000% uh, price increase. So you can uh, 10x your your um, your holdings pretty easily, in my opinion. I mean, I expect Cardano to reach 50 cents probably within the next year. This is a pattern that you can see really across most of the cryptocurrency market cap. In fact, if you take a look at a um, 360 overview of the crypto market cap, the last seven days, what you're going to see is some of the bigger altcoins are pulling back a bit. However, if we go over to the one month performance, I think you'll be pretty surprised by uh, what you'll see, which is the fact that most altcoins, uh, big or small, have absolutely skyrocketed in the past month. And look at that, how deep green the altcoin market is. From Ethereum to smaller altcoins like Zilliqa or even Cardano, which saw a massive 76% price increase in the last month alone. What I'm really trying to say here is the, the you can see it, right? This isn't even uh, a prediction or anything. It's, it's a pure fact that uh, altcoins were clearly undervalued here as people poured in to a lot of these cheap undervalued altcoins and still right now i think they're very cheap uh, and that's why i'm saying that even if we have a pullback it won't really concern me because uh i'm going to take up that opportunity to get them at an even cheaper level um there's some that I, i'm really interested to see how they'll perform some that i've been really struggling for um you know a year plus now for example stellar lumens going to be really interesting to see if this one can uh, get back to some uh previous higher levels because it's very cheap as well kind of a similar story as cardano although i do think that cardano is a little bit better set up in the future uh in the short medium term to uh, be able to grow the project more significantly get some attention on it but you know you you can see for yourself right there there's so many i mean zilliqa was a perfect example of an altcoin that um went uh crazy in the the last month you know there's there's more needs for some cryptos that serve a specific purpose right and, and for zilliqa that's a scalability but you know we saw with Chainlink, for example so there's certain holes in the market that need to be filled and that's where some of these altcoins come to play they're getting huge price increases as a result of that as a result of filling um the hole that's in the market so Zilliqa, I, I think this one is absolutely terrifically set up in the future, right? It started trading back in, in February 2018, but, you know, look at where it is now. Look at where the all-time is, basically 20 cents. Uh, that's that's another 10 times increase. Take a look at the market cap, $251 million. Even if you 10 times that, we're only at $2.5 billion, right? That doesn't compare to the valuations that we're really seeing across the board back in 2017. So if we get another big hype... Uh, crypto altcoin run up in in the next you know several months or maybe a year or so we're gonna see a similar amount of uh kind of euphoria and now they're the projects are better they have better backing they're, they they just make more sense in the first place a lot of them a lot of that money come in as people might think that you know they can get better returns better opportunity with some of these i've been looking at this one also wanted to mention nano uh one that i covered a lot in the past do i'm making this video is to show that some people you know like i said probably some institutional money for certain of these altcoins have seen just how cheap they, you know any time that i can really i'm trying to load up on on these altcoins uh nano very interesting one right a project that has had a lot of controversy uh kind of a rough history but it's at a dollar i mean if you were to tell people that back in in 2017 2018 they, they wouldn't believe it, right? I mean, this is a crypto that went all the way up to 30 cents. Uh, still, the project itself, the cryptocurrency itself is pretty amazing. It's the uh, fastest crypto to transact with. I mean, I remember it being virtually uh, instant and there's still a need for that in my opinion. So, you know, people are seeing that. It was at around 50 cents at the low here. Now we're coming back up almost at a, uh, now, sorry, at above a dollar. And, you know, just in the last, you know, seven days, We've moved up 27%, so things are moving fast, but uh, don't worry because if you look, right, I mean, one of the last highs over here was $10. That's already a 10 times increase, but look at, at that all-time high. It had around a $4 billion market cap, and it was at $30, so that would be a 3,000% increase compared to where we are now. Uh, do I think it's possible that we re revisit that level? Absolutely. Now, of course... Uh, Nano, you know, has that sort of controversial history and everything, but nonetheless, you have to remember that this is a crypto 
that does have uh, something uh, behind it that, that really is meaningful, right? And that's that extremely high uh, scalability, transaction speed. You know, there's always a need for that, and people see that. So it's not, not for no reason that people have been buying in at these low prices. You know, I think that altcoin uh, season, like I said, is coming around. It's just a matter of time, and uh, that time is shortening to, you know, maybe two years to just a few months out. We're really going to see a very big altcoin run. Probably, um, I'd say, within a year, we're going to see the altcoin run. And that's probably going to be when we see the Bitcoin breakout. So, you know, if you're interested in buying altcoins, make sure to check out Binance. I'll leave a link in the description. That's where I get all my altcoins, my favorite exchange. Uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. But let me know your thoughts on the altcoin market. Which ones are you looking at? Uh, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to... Uh, check out my Twitter for live market updates uh, and also follow me and check out my uh, Udemy trading course. Uh, if you want to learn technical analysis, it's less than $20 and comes with a full 30 day money back guarantee if you're not satisfied. So you got nothing to lose by giving it a try and we've already gotten great reviews. You'll learn absolutely everything you need to know about technical analysis. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.